Welcome everybody tonight to tonight's broadcast of the Nevada Cubs against the Algona. Uh, getting ready to start up here and uh, Cubs waiting to enter the field. Weather night, 79 degrees, a little bit humid out there, but calm, no wind. Cubs are coming in at 6-0, and and Algona's coming in at 5-1. and Algona Bulldogs. Should be a good matchup tonight for the Cubs. Slobber knocker. Slobber knocker. It's going to be a slobber knocker. Oh, it's a slobber knocker night. Both teams like to run the football. Um, right now, Nevada is ranked seventh in the AP poll, and Algona is ranked tenth. Algona's only loss was the Boyden Hall Rock Valley, which I believe is ranked was a ranked team in a class lower than us. Themselves a very good team, so it could be interesting. Uh, look, watching warm-ups here, looks like Algona runs a tight formation. That means two tight ends. They have one split receiver. And the, in warm-ups, they showed the pistol. Now, for those that don't know the difference between a shotgun and a pistol formation, in the shotgun, you have the quarterback and the running back standing next to him. In the pistol, you have the quarterback and the running back stands behind him. And it gives a few more options, but also sometimes makes it a little easier defense because if that back is behind the quarterback, if he turns, you know, most of the time he's going to get the ball. So, um, beautiful night for football. Yep. Cubs are on the field, and accompanying the Cubs tonight are the youth football teams here in Nevada. Future of tomorrow. Future varsity football players right there on the field. Got a pretty good program going here in Nevada. We've got a lot of kids that go out for it. It's good to see the amount of kids that want to participate at that age. And definitely helps build the program in the future. Putting a plug in for the band. The band's performance tonight is the one they're going to perform at contest tomorrow in Fort Dodge. Band looks pretty sharp in those purple uniforms. They wouldn't let me in the band. I always wanted to play the tuba, and they told me it wouldn't fit. <laughs> I think they lied to you. They wouldn't do such a thing. So the band will play our national anthem, and our uh, veterans will help raise the flag along with the Boy Scouts over there at our flagpole.
Jason, you know what the last two words of the Star Spangled Banner are, don't you? Play ball. Play ball. So I think the Cubs will definitely meet their hardest match of the season tonight. To date, anyway. Cubs coming off an impressive win and go over their arch rival at Ballard last week. One observation I have tonight, the Cubs have traditionally started off a little slow in the early part of the game. Uh, probably with the team they're facing tonight, that may not be a good idea. Coming from behind against a quality team is not very easy to do. So hope the Cubs get off to a quick start tonight. Although both teams are a predominantly running team, uh, the Cubs definitely come in with a better rushing uh, per average and total yards. But uh, they do have to be careful because the other team is a passing offense also. And do have quite a few more yards than the Cubs in the passing game. That wishbone, or excuse me, that uh, yeah, pistol offense, they'll fake to the running back coming up the middle, bring a, a half back around from either end, hand off to him on a jet sweep, or do both and throw the ball down the field. So defensively, Cubs got to be sound tonight, follow their assignments, stay home, and do what they've been coached to all week. Looks like uh, Algona's captains are uh, Nolan Hempel, Jason or Jackson Wood, Woodgard. Uh, number 27 there is Brandon Harris, and number three, Tyler Mansky. Brandon's coming out with a boot on his foot. Uh, nobody wants to see that, especially in your senior year. Cubs captains are Ty Dittmer, James Edwards. Oh, shoot, I missed the one guy. Nevada's going to kick off. They'll be kicking towards the north end zone. Algona will be receiving it to the north end zone. They'll be heading south. Yeah. Or for you who are directionally impaired at times like I am, Algona will be going from our left to our right, scoreboards on the right. Cubs will be going from our right to the left, scoreboard at their back. Hey, you did get back. We got nothing right now. <clears throat> you up in the mountain stuff? There we go. Wow. Something like, uh, thank God we got rid of that Smith guy. I don't think that's probably true. Actually, heard the opposite sometimes. It'd be interesting to see which team tonight controls the line of scrimmage. Uh, Cubs have been very, very well coached this year and very prolific about controlling line of scrimmage, both offensively and defensively with their, their lines. But there again, Algonas got a very impressive lineup for themselves, so it'll be interesting to see what they end up with. Cubs will be kicking off from the hash mark closest to that press box. And again, let's see. Algona comes out with two, four, five men up close, right behind the uh, 50 yard line. They have one person by the 40 on our side, the other one's back by the 35, two guys back about the 30, and two, two receivers back deep about the 10. As usual, Aiden Freeman will be kicking off for the Cubs. As Coach said, from the 40-yard line. Looks like the team's set. Here's our whistle. Here we go. Going. And the approach. And the kick. Line drive. Could go out of bounds. And does. Unfortunately. I believe that puts the ball at the 30-yard line. I think you're right on that one. 
It's not pro, so it's not the 40. It's not college, it should be the 35. Well, maybe it maybe is. Maybe it is a 35. <coughs> Haven't seen much of it this no, year, so 30. I guess we're not not real sure. Oh, it is a 35. There we go. 35 yards. So Tyler Mansky's the quarterback for Algona. He's a senior for him, 6'2". Hands off. To the left side, stuffed immediately. And taken for a loss of two yards. Algona pulled two linemen on that play. They were meant by our right side, who took on both blockers, piled them up, and that allowed us to pursue and make the tackle for a loss. Uh, ball carry was number 22, Lamon Olfers, Jr. Shotgun formation. Takes a snap, drops back, looking to his right. Keeps it right up the middle for the first down to Moore. Avoids a tackle and picks up about 20 yards on that play. Algona's line did a nice job. They pushed the Nevada defense line out and around and created a big hole. Linebackers dropped into coverage. Quarterback took it and went right up the middle with no interference. Handoff with Ulfers again, and he picked up about three yards on that play. That was a trap play to their left, our right side. Their offensive lineman, the guard, came down and nice inside out block at his head upfield and kicked out our defensive end. And the back right of well cut right off him. Linebackers closed down, kept it to a two yard gain. So single back set, trips two on the bottom here and one to the top. Dropping back, looking to pass, throws it out in the flat. It was a pickup of about six yards, so it'll be shy of the first down by a yard, third and one. Algona's coming out on that play. They had two receivers set to the right, wing back, lined up facing in off the defensive or the offensive tackle and then the wide receiver to the left. They are released downfield. Drag pattern to the outside made him open. So single wide receiver. Fumble and Cubs recovery at the 30 yard line. Excellent tackle on that play. The old coaching is you put your head on the ball, and that's exactly what they did. They didn't need, need to be a little careful, though. Uh, the official pulled the Nevada player away. Taunting was the right word, but he had a few words to say to the man who just fumbled. Keeper by Edwards up the middle. Avoids a couple tackles, moves all the way up past the 40, all the way up to the 43-yard line. Good blocking by his offensive line, hard running by Edwards. So first down for the Cubs at the 43-yard line of uh, their own 43. Handoff to Casey Stevenson, moves through a hole in the left, around the corner, down to the 30, and out of bounds out at the 24-yard line. Nope, sorry, make it a 26-yard line. Excellent blocking, a quick hitter to the left side, and he just blew through there and was off to the races. Uh, good angle pursuit by Algona, hauled him in, otherwise he'd still be running. All the way to Starbucks for a sandwich. 
Ice cream. So we got Trips with the running back to the side. Edwards keeps off the left side, gets a corner, tries to go through a, a tackler, was able to get him down, but not before a first down. And the 10 yard line to boot. This wouldn't have made a need. It was get off to a good offensive start. Hopefully we can punch it in for six. Get some points out of this possession and drive. All coming off the fumble created by an excellent tackle. So with that run, that puts the ball inside the Nevada Lumber Red Zone. And not to mention, tonight's game is brought to us by Metronet. Hand off to Casey Stevenson. Didn't see the hole immediately, but does find a hole and gains four yards. Very patient in that run. He got the ball, started his left, did not try to outrun it, waited patiently for the block. The block happened. He got right through the hole, pick up about... About four yards. About four yards. I'm looking over there at the down yards, and it's like, how'd they go in reverse? Keeper by Edwards. It's following Cal Franz on the blocker and into is. the end zone. Touchdown. Beta draws first blood. After giving up some yardage on that first drive by Algona and getting that turnover, they marched it immediately right down the field and scores six. Didn't even throw a pass in that position, did we? Nope. Beta lines up in the swinging gate formation. They're all to the left. Here comes the holder. The rest of the team now comes over to join the center. The snap, the place, and the kick. And good. Looks good from here. Freeman has been very consistent with his kicking this year, both extra points and field goals. What years did you know? Uh, he is a junior, I believe. It's a nice thing to have in your back pocket coming back. First year was a sophomore last year. Well, that would probably make him a junior this year. Unless he's like me and was on the five-year program. <laughs> well, let's see how Algona comes back from that. Turnover cost them a touchdown, so hopefully the Cubs can stay aggressive with their tackling. They've been swarming to the ball, but Algona's run some good deception. Uh, catching Nevada off guard a couple times with some excellent line blocking by Algona. So Cubs showed them their side of the ball and that worked fine. So Aiden Freeman this year so far is 35 of 37 for extra point kicks. And one for one on field goals. Freeman on the approach and the kick. Much better kick this time. Backs him up to the 5. Takes it to the 10. 15. 20. 25. Met by a few Cubs. Pushes his way all the way up to the 28-yard line. Caleb Quaker into the tackle along with Seth Brown for the Cubs. So the Bulldogs will take over here to the 28-yard line. Here we go. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Tight, tight into the right, wing back. Quick pass, little sidearm pass, wide open receiver. Brings it all the way over into the Cubs side of the field, down to the 46-yard line. This misdirection play. Algona pulled two offensive linemen to their right, our left, and everybody flowed this way, and they brought it back out of the left wing back position, down the field, wide open. Takes a snap. Come back. Very good run, about nine yards. Our defensive end did a good job of trying to turn it in, but their offensive line on their right side sealed it down, gave them an alley to run in. 
and there he went. Linebackers did a, did a good job of pursuing. Defensive backs came up and finished the deal. We'll have to keep an eye on them, but I do believe their line plays both ways. At least some of them do, so we'll have to keep an uh, eye on Bulldogs players. Especially later in the game. Ooh, could be blocking the tired. back, there's the flag. And then a sack on top of it. He made his number 63, broke through. Nate Anderson put pressure on. Their offensive tackle saw his whip, tried to block him in the back. And last time I checked, that's illegal. So the flag came flying out. An illegal block in the back. They can either take the penalty. Call him a hold. Right there, which would be third in the yard. No, or third, second. Second and nine then, moving to. Or third and 13. And so the coaching. I think that's probably the right call. No, it would have been it. second in about 20. Glad they asked us our opinion up here before they took it. <laughs> I had my quarter ready to flip just in case. Ooh, flag on the play. It looks like somebody lined up on the offensive side over the ball. Yes, they did. I like the procedure. Back them up another five. I don't think Algona wanted to go in this direction with their drive on this one. They had a couple nice plays, got in the cup territory, and now the ball is going back to about their own 46-yard line. Get a first down, they have to get to the Cubs' 36-yard line, right, Coach? Yeah, that's correct. Jason has better eyes than I do. It's a good thing we don't do Canadian football because they even have weirder numbers out there. Yeah, that metric numbers, those are weird. Drops back to pass. It's getting a rush. Oh, another flag, another flag on the play. Probably another hole, I would I imagine. I would guess where that was. That I'll go to ran four fly patterns. All that simply means is the receiver took off straight down the field, trying to outrun everybody. All four of them did. Problem was their, their protection didn't hold up well enough, and we got the pressure on and took them down. Sideline infraction. Is that that is? On us or them? Uh -huh. Okay. It usually means the coach is out there saying, saying, gee, I'm just curious. By the way, the Nevada coaches are next door, so if you hear coming through the glass, having never been in that situation, I can see why they might be a little nervous. Don't think they had the coverage out on the field. They had a guy back. Uh, anticipating a punt at that uh, down and distance. Which left a receiver wide open uncovered. Yep. Which I guess is redundant. If you're wide open, you're uncovered. True. I've been waiting all, all week to say redundant. 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 Goes with slobber knocker. Or trick or ration. Or trick or ration. We'll get to that one. I think there might have been a little trick or ration in that, Al in that Algona play. I think you're right. Because right now it looks like they're fourth and tomorrow sometime for first fourth down. So I mean, you could go for it. Yep. But being in the your okay. own side of the field, that's got to be a little tough. Spread out again. They could do a quick kick out of this formation because he's only about seven yards deep, which is where he lines up normally. They're bringing a half back in motion to our side. And they yep. are. Soccer style kick. And that's exactly what they Bounces did. This is at the 24. And doesn't really go much. It bounces down to about the 22. Okay, right now I see two of their linemen, number 79, number 53. It looks like they're playing both ways. If that happens, that will give Nevada a definite advantage. Uh, Cubs play players, especially their linemen, only one side of the ball. They're either offensive or defensive. It keeps them fresh, and later in the game, it wears down your opponent. Man in motion, takes a snap. Edwards is moving off to the right, running. Avoids one tackle, but is met by a couple other balls out. 
Looks like we got it recovered right away. But all in all, we gained about a yard on that play. Two yards. Up to the 24 yard line. Takes a second and long eight. Edwards takes it. Off the left side. Between the tackles. Picks up about four yards on that play. Been watching Algona play against Caden De Silva. Uh, they have a receiver out here, one on one. I don't think he's looked inside the whole time. He's looking at Caden the whole way and going to try and cover him one on one. Which, if he has that kind of speed, could be a very interesting matchup tonight. I'll bring up third down and four. <coughs> James takes a snap, looks over to pass. Little screen. Algona's line, Algona's line made penetration on that. Edwards was trying to roll to his left and throw to his right. It's not always easy to do. Couldn't get his shoulders turned, couldn't get his feet set. Kind of threw up a duck. We're lucky it wasn't intercepted. The, the only receiver in the area was Rhodes. So Nevada looks like they're going to punt for the first time tonight. So we got Carson Rose out there. Is that Carson Rose out the punt. Algona's receivers back about his own 38, 39 yard line. Oh, nice Excellent punt. punt. Fair, Fair catch. caught at the 33 yard line. Nice punt. So far, it's been a quick quarter. We're four minutes left in the first quarter. Made up seven nothing. See if they can create another turnover. We'll hope for the best. Takes a snap, hands it off. Runner gets a few yards on that play, about three. Game tackling. <laughs> Here we come. So it'll be second and seven on the thirty six yard line. On the sweep. And brings it up to the 40 yard line. Pick up another three yards or so. Jones read that well, came up, and then got inside support. Gang tackle and took him down. It's going to be third and three for the Bulldogs. Off up the middle, stopped short of the first down. That'll bring up fourth and one. It should be interesting. I think they'll probably try and go for this. And again, I'm guessing to come out in that uh, short punt formation, possibly a quick kick, and the first time you don't respect it. That's when they'll take off running. Kameda has nobody back right now. The jumbo in there. Hand off up the middle. Got Looks it. like they got enough for a first. And they do. Carry that up to the 45 yard line. Be first down. Let's go, 
Oh, man, incomplete pass. Excellent pass. play. <laughs> Just as he reached for the ball, Quaker put him on the ground. So, excellent defensive play by Quaker. I think we'll have to be careful on this bottom side here. It looked like uh, number five pulled down the receiver from the other team, number 11. So, you got to be careful. Blocking is one thing, but when you pull them down. Maybe you thought it was a dance. <laughs> Second and ten, drops back to pass. He's got pressure. Throws one up. Got up receiver. Cut the ball. All the way down to the 20 yard line. Pass complete to the three line slip. Pass down for Again, Algona came out and ran four fly patterns. Also referred to once upon a time as a streak pattern. All four receivers took off straight down the field, each in their own zone. Two wide, two down the hash marks. That time they threw it to the wide receiver on our side of the field. I don't know if Carter gave up on that one and thinking that the quarterback was going to get sacked. But he may have got caught in Never Neverland, too, yep, where he came up and hesitated, thought it was steps. over, and then the yep. guy went right on by him. He's a few steps behind him. Run up the middle. Once again, a gain of about three yards. Woody Hayes would be proud of him. Three yards and a cloud of, cloud of dust. Three yards and a cloud of dust. Second and seven, yes. Just under one minute of the first quarter. Wins to the near side line, single receiver set north. Hand off again. Nope. Oh, sorry. Fake the handoff. Throw it into the corner and fly pattern. Through to the uh, southeast corner of the end zone. Through at the southeast corner of the end zone, one on one coverage. Uh, receiver went up for it. Nevada defender brought his hands up through to knock the ball away. Gonna bring up third down and seven. Hey, hey, watch snake, snake zipper. Nevada shows a three man front. Walk up and uh, two linebackers from the outside. Looking to throw off the left Pressure. side. Oh. oh. The receiver didn't look back right away when that ball was thrown. Had to locate it. By the time he got located, it was too late. Couldn't get a hand up. They also had a two on one there. Quaker, or uh, Detmer was out there by himself. And uh, yes, he was in no man's land trying to guess which one it was going to. Luckily, the receiver could not hang on to it. So we have good fourth and what? Seven. Fourth and seven. So they just want to try and kick a field goal to put points on the board. They're going to challenge us. And the play is called done before it started. Invade a Showed ball. blitz. Delay a game. Oh, didn't see that. Nevada brought two linebackers come shooting up into the middle. They would have gone probably to the, the C gap. Again, the gaps between the center and guard is the A gap, between the guard and the tackle is the B gap, and between the tackle and the tight end is the C gap. And that time they brought two linebackers come flying up, and I think it threw off the timing of the play. They got called for a delay game. I'm going to bring up fourth and 12 now for the Bulldogs. Same play, blitzing again. Getting pressure and sack. He's down, all right. Back at the 32 yard line. Cubs take over on downs. Carson Mather came from the left side for us. Malone came from the right side. Let's just say they had a junction point of the quarterback, and both of them got there, Malone first and then Mather. Good job, guys. So with that, Cubs take over on downs. Bulldogs threaten once again, but come up empty-handed. That time, 
I got him on a different count and Algona anticipating a count jumped offside once they broke the neutral zone automatic oh, five. 11.4 seconds left in the first quarter. And that brings up a first and five now with that penalty. Towers takes a snap, hands off to Casey Stevenson off the left side. He's got a hole, got a block. Over to 50, 40, 35. And out of bounds at the 32-yard line of the Bulldogs. I'm not sure who Nevada's left tackle is, but he just sealed the whole side of the off or defensive line. He came off, took the man on his inside, took him on down. What a hole. And he hit it full on. And once again, I apologize, I don't have all the names and numbers memorized. That was Colton Leslie. Colton was taken after his dad on that play. So with four seconds left of the first quarter, Cubs have first down, 32 yard line. Edwards takes it, keep it. Left side's got a hole. Splits a couple defenders and brings it all the way down to the 21 yard line. End of the first quarter. Not only that, it's a first down, but it's the end of the first quarter. On that play, as Edwards made his break and the first defender come up and hit him, the defender was, it's called a tomahawk move, where he brings a fist, forearm over the top of the arm, trying to knock the ball loose. Edwards anticipated, had both hands in the ball wrapped in tightly. Did an excellent job of controlling the ball. So when we resume play here in the second quarter, it'll be first and ten at the 21-yard line of the Bulldogs. Who you got your cable? <laughs> Who's your cable provider with? Oh, Metronet. We went with Metronet a couple months ago. We've been thrilled with them. Uh, they came into our home, very professional, made sure everything was hooked up, set up, did a great job, came back a couple days later, buried the cable, very professionally, well done, and Breed and I have been thrilled with what we've seen, so if you got a chance and you're interested, Metro Nets could be the way to go for you too. Uh, yeah, I used to have another company and switched over to Metro Net and gained about 700 megabytes per second download and then probably 900 and some megabytes on an upload speed. You had me worried so. there for a minute. I thought you were going to tell me you had 700 more channels or 900 more channels. I have trouble watching three. <laughs> no, no, we cut the cord a long time ago. We're sh strictly streamers these days. That was streamer, right? Streamers. Streamers, streamers. streamers not streakers. Nice coach. I was going to check that. Nice Nobody wants to see me streaking. <laughs> First down for the Cubs, 21 yard line. Edwards takes a snap, fakes the handoffs. First pass, pass of the night. Throws it out. Intercepted, uh, intercepted in the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Come out to the 20 yard line. Edwards pass is a little underthrown. Um, tried to throw it to the back side of it, of uh, the end zone, and just couldn't, didn't have enough under the ball. Yep, nose dived. Uh, was meant for Drew Robinson, but uh, just a little on the short side, like you mentioned. All right, defense, let's take it away again and just. Take it right back down the field. Simple observation, I would say the Cubs have been in control of this, this game for the most part. Uh, Algonis had a couple nice drives, but hasn't been able to capitalize, which is, of course, good for our side, not for theirs yet. But uh, they're still coming solid at us. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Counterplay. Nice pick up of about seven, six yards on that play. In the old days of the wing tee, you would have a wing back on one side, a full back and a half back. Sometimes you'd go double wing where you had both half backs lined up on the end of the formation, which is what Algona did that time again. This time they faked to the inside and ran a counter play with their right wing back coming back around. So I'm going to bring up second down and four. Quad, quad receivers. A couple nice blocks by the receivers for the Bulldogs, and that's enough for a first down for them. Number 11, white, white receiver, 
Excellent block on our side. I think it was De Silva, I'm not sure, but he got into Caden and just kept pushing the outside, created quite the opening for the running back. That'd be Trevin Smith, senior. So first down at the 38-yard line. I shut him down again, Cubs. So what would you call this formation, Coach? This is a pistol formation. Is that the pistol? Yes. Okay. Anytime the back is lined up directly yeah, behind the quarterback, the it's called a pistol formation. It's developed at the University of Nevada, <laughs> Reno. Even and with the two guys on the end of the wings. line? Wings. If that... they're facing in that way, it doesn't matter if they're facing in or out, but they're referred to as wing backs. Okay. So you got your offensive line. Right now they're running a six-man look because they got a center, two guards, two tackles, and a tight end. And one wing back is off the tight end side, and he's facing in towards the quarterback. The other one's off the, uh, the tackle on the other side. He's facing in towards. Supposedly gives you a better angle block when you're blocking down. Okay, so we got trip receivers, single set back. Pass the whole going way. Out. Keeper by the quarterback and gets back some of those penalty yards that they had. I'll bring up second down and 12. Ten minutes to go in the second quarter. It's been a well-played ball game on both sides. Yeah, I think for the most part it's just... One turnover each. We yeah. got the fumble and we took it down for a touchdown. They have a pass interception in our end zone to stop a drive. Now they have it second about 12. Takes a snap. Hands off on the... Uh, oh, breaks one tackle on the back. He's able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Had him wrapped up no in the game. backfield. Had him hit in the backfield. Couldn't wrap the arms tight enough to pull him down. Good second effort by the running back. But good closure by the defensive players for Nevada. The end and the outside linebacker coming down. Let's go, dude. Beta shows a three-man front on defense. And he Quad walk up receivers. alone. Uh, Ooh, nice move by the receiver to elude all the tacklers. Yeah, he's able to pick up about 30 yards on that play. The receiver took that ball all the way down to the 33-yard line of the Cubs. Receiver caught the ball, made an inside step, shrugged off the tackler from Veda, spun to the outside, took it on down to we caught up with him. Yeah. Takes the snap. Another uh, misdirect handoff. Where he fakes it to one and gives it to the other. It's kind of an off counter play. They pulled again two linemen, pulled the backside tackle and the onside guard to lead the play. Uh, quarterback spun, came all the way around, gave it to the halfback, the left halfback coming back across the formation. Current philosophy or name for that might be a jet sweep, but there was no motion leading into it. So it's definitely a counter play where you show it one way and come back the other. One of the greatest plays in football, a counter play. Not that I would be biased or prejudiced, but. So it'll be second down and seven to go. Takes the handoff, hands it off up the middle, and picks up about four more yards. It'll be third down and three. That ball carrier has some speed, too. Again, watching him during warm-ups, hit the hole quickly and get down the field in a hurry. And he's not a little guy, either. No, he's not. Looks about a little bit shorter than Arcade and Silver, a little bit broader across the whole frame. Takes the snap, hands it off. Oh, sorry, keeper. Faked me out. That'll bring up fourth down and a little over one to go. Mm -hmm. 
I see another lineman out there for Algona. Looks like he's playing both ways. Yeah, their running back is 6'4". How much he weighs? Does it say? Doesn't say. So big stop here for the Cubs at 4th and 1. Crowds are cheering. Drops back to pass. Short pass. Completed. Down to the 19-yard line. Again, they showed that fly look. Showed the fly look with four receivers going down the field. The inside receiver on our side drove off for 10, planted a foot, and came back to the ball. Had enough yardage for a first down. So first and 10 for the Bulldogs at the 19-yard line of the Cubs. Okay, they come out with a tight end. They're in a shotgun look. Hand off and met in the back. Oh, nope. Another fake handoff, or I should say option. It's an option play that is not an RPO, though. Correct, because it's not a pass. It's either Correct. running backs running it or the quarterbacks running it. Early last year, I sat and watched college football, and they kept going, RPO, RPO. I thought they were talking about the Postal Service. No, run, pass, option. Would that be the rural? Postal could be. Service? Could be the rural. Like the old guys office. that used to ride huh? horses? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I remember them. I used to feed their horses hay. There you go. Second down and eight to go. First time. Looks swing out to pattern. the flat. Under pressure again. Has to elude. Throws the ball. And showing as a completed pass at the eight yard line. That was an excellent catch by that wide receiver. You teach receivers the balls above the waist, you put your thumbs together and your fingers together and form a triangle, and that's exactly what he did. The ball hit, he pulled it in as he was falling out of bounds. Excellent catch by that young guy. That yep. time they also put the running back in motion away from that play, brought him to our side, and then ran the play away from us. Love seeing uh, wide receivers catching with their hands. Yes. Drives me once when, nuts when I see him catching with their body. Trying Under pressure once again, scrambling. Throws it up, and in the back of the end zone, caught for a touchdown. touchdown for Bulldogs. Pass complete for the touchdown to Trayvon Smith. Tyler Maskey to Trayvon Smith. So after that turnover, the Bulldogs march the ball 80 yards down the field and score their own touchdown. Quite a drive for a high school team and. 5.39 left, so they burn up a lot of clock doing it. Defensive back that time had the man covered at first, and then the quarterback looked like he was going to run, and that caused our DB to stop running. Their receiver curled in behind and was open in the back end of the end zone. Looks like Algona's going for two possibly here. Waiting on yeah, a play, like but they're running out of time. Down to 10. Nine. Five. Takes the snap, drops back. Off. It's going to pass under pressure once again. Throws it up. And blocked by Caden. <laughs> nice job by Caden De Silva blocking that one up. Well, that makes it a 7-6 ball game to Veda, which one up beats two down, right? Yes. And we knew coming in it was going to be an excellent ball game to, between two ranked teams in our class. I'm not sure who Algona has left to play. I know that we have Humble, I believe, in our division or our yes. class, and right now they're uh, undefeated they as well. They're also 6-0, and oh, and they're in front of us in the rankings. So, If we can get through tonight with a win, that's just going to be all the more exciting of a matchup for next week. But we got to get through tonight first. That, and in our district, in all districts, the top two teams go on to the playoffs. So, and they've been shown a different look. they got six players between the 45 and the 50 in a triangle on each side, and then they have... I think that's road standing in the middle about the 42-yard uh, line. And they got a little. And the kickoff's a little squibber and out of bounds. So the Cubs will get that at the 35-yard line. You know whose team isn't ranked this year? 
Well, I can take a several. Clemson's Matt, not. Matt Myers' fantasy football team. His team is so bad this year. Oh. But I enjoy the free money that he donates to our league every That's year. That's nice of Matt. Yeah, He's always is. been that kind of guy. Yeah. Of course, somebody should explain to Matt that the football is pointed, not round. So true. that might help, too. That is true. But we love him anyway. All right, we got 539 left in the second quarter. Cubs have the ball on their own 35-yard line. Matt Myers is with uh, 21st Century Rehab at every game, helping out the kids whenever needed. That handoff was given to Kaysen Stevenson. He carried it right up the middle to the 40-yard line. That'll bring up second and five for the Cubs. Jason can pick on him because he's on that league together. I can pick on him because I taught and coached him. Well, he coached me. I don't know if I taught him anything, but anyway. So Edwards takes that second and five snap, goes up the middle. It's met by a couple Bulldogs, but before that, he gains about two yards. They were waiting for that when they squeezed it down. That'll bring up a third and three to go. In comes Malone, out comes number 11. Looks like an extra blocker in Malone in. It's going to be close, but I think he's got it. Yep, hard push by Edwards right up the middle and is able to get the first down. You know, with Malone in there, it brings back a, a name that Hayden Fry gave one of his players, a, a bundle of a bowling ball of butcher knives or something to that effect, and that's what Malone did. He came down and just cracked out the uh, in-man line of scrimmage, created an opening. So first and 10 at the 45. Malone re remains in the, in the field. Keeper on Edwards, right side, finds a hole, pushes it all the way down to the 43-yard line of the Bulldogs. Malone lined up that time as a halfback, not quite a wingback, led the play up through the hole, bumped one guy out, came down, engaged the uh, defensive back, and drove him backwards. That gave us room to turn the ball up the field, and away we went. <coughs> Edwards takes a snap, hands off to Kaysen. Left side, gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Not a way we Iowa State have to move. That noise you heard was crickets. Nobody seemed to know up here. I know the Chicago Bears play the Raiders. <laughs> I am unsure of who Iowa State is. They made State a movie plays. about that, didn't they? D&D? D&D? &D? Uh -huh. Or, or, uh, or B and B, <laughs> bad and better. <laughs> bad news bears. Edwards keeper off the right side of the line. Pushes forward for about seven yards. Did a nice job of following his blocks on that. Yeah, maybe only six on that one. So it'll be third down and four for third the Cubs. Third and long four. <laughs> I think they just brought in that uh, running back for them, didn't they? Brought him to this side of the field. Yep. Yeah, so he's playing both ways also. Edwards keepers got blockers. Keep driving. It's going to be close. Got about, a, about a foot short from the look of the spot in the yeah. far official. About a yard short. It's going to be fourth and one for the Cubs. I'm sure they're going to go for it at this point. This point in this place on the field. Got 13, 12 on the time clock. 10. I think they're going to take a timeout here. Run the clock down, take a timeout. Minute yep. 57 left in the quarter. 
That'll be the Cubs' second timeout of the game. Didn't want to give them too much time in case they do get the ball back to maybe get a score. You know, also uh, with signing up with Metronet, I don't know about you, but we got some smoking deals as far as the first 12 months of our uh, agreement. I shouldn't say agreement because it's month to month. There is no two-year agreement like you get with some of these outfits. Wait a minute. Uh, we had an agreement. Rita said, do we want to do that? And I nodded my head yes and agreed with her. <laughs> Smart man, Mike. Smart man. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. So... It's if you're in the market for internet service, check out Metronet. They've got smoking deals, super fast internet service, and they do also provide home and TV uh, service. thing I liked about it, we have internet throughout the house now. We used to have one router upstairs, and downstairs is really weak. It's going to be up. Shifting out of it, I was going to say it's going to be a power move. It's got two wing backs. Keeper by Edwards. Pushes got hard. It. Got it. And just gets it. Got the shoulders turned at the line of scrimmage and made the lunge. Well done, Cubs. And once and again, as I preached all year, is how well the offensive line fires off the ball and keeps her feet moving. Very impressive. Now the Cubs are trying to hurry up. Got a player running off the field. He gets off in time. Hands off to Kaysen. Off the right side. He's got a hole. Big nice. hole. 20, 15, 10, 5. He stumbles all the way down to the 7-yard line. Hey, coaches, trim his toenails, would you? He caught, it, caught his toenails on a white line. Who was the outside guy in this one? Had a great outside block. That's what sprung a wide receiver. As I've said before, when your wide receivers block downfield, you're going to be successful. That was Colin Memmer. Colin Memmer. Nice block, Colin. So first and goal. Keeper by Edwards right off the middle. Touchdown. Touchdown. All right. Straight ahead. James Edwards. Second one for him today. By the way, the Des Moines Register listed players early this week, you know, top 10, top 15. He didn't make it, but he was an honorable mention person for his uh, football this year and what a fine job he's done. He's come a long way in his football career. Yes, he has. So, freed him out for the extra point. Snap, place, and kick is good. 14-6, Cubs over Algona Bulldogs. Minute 36 to go. Cubs do get the ball in the second half, so if they can stop the Bulldogs here before the halftime. Chance to put some more points on the board. Then definitely uh, continue to keep that momentum on their side of the field. As I mentioned earlier, I have uh, two Nevada coaches off to my right in the other compartment up here in the press box. I've been very impressed listening to them. They have spent a lot of time looking at film on this team. They're almost calling the play before the play goes off. That takes a lot of time and effort, folks, a lot of dedication. Oh, yeah, by the way, they got to teach and do all that other good stuff besides being parents, <laughs> husbands. Yeah, the Cubs are definitely lucky to have such a dedicated team all the way around. Field at the 8-yard line, brought up to the 15, 20, 25, and is swarmed at the 25 by about four Cubs. So, minute 30 left in the half. Bulldogs take over at the 24-yard line. It will be first and 10. Get a turnover, Cubbies. Let's go. Ooh, wouldn't that be sweet? A little pick six. Pick six. Are we not able to score a touchdown, get it close enough for a field goal try? And make it a two-possession ball game at least. Right now it's a one. <laughs> Split receivers to the left, one to the right. This time their halfback is pointed straight ahead. Yes! Oh! <laughs> 
Defensive Instant coach of the next door yelling, Malone. screen, screen, screen. Uh, the beta player went to get it, and if you're watching on TV, you saw his feet go out from underneath him. Otherwise, it would have been just what we were hoping for. So that stops the clock. A minute 26 left. Gives him Second another chance. It was a good call by Algona, just a well defense play by Nevada. The defensive lineman, if you finally get a free shot after you know beating on a guy across from you and it's like, I got it, I got it, and then you realize it's too late, they already suckered you in. That time we did what we were supposed to. Got a pass, got more a pass, pressure, more and pressure sacked down. down at the 15 yard line. We only got one time out and I think we're using it. Yes, they are. That's a 10 yard, well, nine yard loss on that play. I'm gonna bring up third and 19. Minute 17 to go. Cubs take their final. No. Oh, sorry, Bulldogs take their final. I was gonna say, originally I thought uh, I saw the head coach for Nevada. Bulldogs take their first. Running Excuse down me. the field to call time, but they're well, gonna beat us to it. Okay, they've been running four fly or four streak patterns down the field. Four receivers, each in the zone. This might be the time where instead of just flying it down, earlier tonight they ran the inside receiver down, he planted and came back. This might be one where they run it down, all four and plant the foot and come back. If not, crossing pattern out of it. They still gotta hold up the blocking in on their part with the pressure the data's put on them so far. They could come out ahead in the deal. Third down and 19 for the Bulldogs. Cubs are definitely playing a little deeper. Keep everything in front of them. We've got a late runner onto the field for Algona. Number five. Takes the snap. And Draw keeper play. up the middle. Spins out of one tackle, but is brought down at the 19-yard line. That'll bring up fourth down. Minute no four. motion yet by the Cubs. One minute to go in the quarter. Looks like they're not going to save their timeout for offense aside. And you know Algona's going to run that all the way down and probably I'm take a timeout. Say. some players in late for Algona. 10 seconds on the uh, play clock, eight, six, four. And the coach is walking up to the ref. Two, and calls the timeout. Calls the timeout. So that'll be the second expired. timeout for the Bulldogs. 30 seconds left in the game, or in the first half, sorry. I'd like to compliment the uh, weight program the Vedas instilled too. You can see a difference in the physique of our players, their strength, their attitude, and their conditioning. So kudos to that group. And right now, because I'm old, I forgot who they are. Premier Athlete Training. Thank you, Mr. Smith. And uh, in fact, I think one of the trainers are down on the field right now. Zoom here, it'll be 14, 15, 16, 15. Bulldogs punting to the Cubs from the 19 yard line. We got De Silva and Robinson back at about midfield. You really have a hard time believing they're going to kick either one of them. Guessing they're aim for the sideline and hope to burn up more time. He is back a little further than he was before, about eight yards versus seven. Doesn't sound like much, but it is a lot. And yep. puts it off One step towards drive. Robinson. Pick it up and run. I'm sure on that one, uh, at that point, you should have just let the ball sit still. If you're going to field the ball, field it before any players get close I think, to I think I heard an argument going on. You take the ball. No, 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 you take the ball. <laughs> so 22 seconds left. The... Uh, Cubs take over at the 
36 yard line, their own 36 yard line. So if they are going to do something, boy, they're going to have to bite off some big chunks here. Run a couple odd patterns, then get out of bounds, or run a deep pattern with the sofa, see if anybody can keep up. Right now they got number eight over the top of the yep. man that's been staring at him all night. Three just came over to help out too. But you can only cover so many people at one time. Oh. Pass out into the flat to Case and Stevenson. Screen pass Drops. to this side. They cleared the area with uh, De Silva and Robinson down the line and then tried to throw a screen pass out here. Uh, got hurried a little bit, threw it a little bit high. But we still got 17.8 seconds and three downs do something. And the Cubs do get the ball back at the start of the second half. And so at the high, the top, ooh, Officials stopping the play for a second. The Silva looks like he's coming off. He either has blood on his knee or something wrong with his pant. I won't say there goes our deep threat because we have seen him throw the ball deep to the other players too. Yeah. Drew Robinson's a very good deep threat. Yep. Colin Numbers not too bad either. So run up the middle with Casey Stevenson. Gets all the way up to midfield. 13 seconds. And takes Clock. the timeout right away. Clock will stop on the first down when they move the change, but you said we called timeout. Oh, nope, we did not. Nope. Once the clock and there is goes set. the clock and spikes the ball to stop the clock. <laughs> Sending two to the top and to the bottom. The Silva's coming back in. So ten seconds on the play clock. Takes the snap, drops back, looking to pass, getting some pressure. Scrambles. Get out of bounds. Gets out of bounds with 3.7 seconds, so time enough for one more toss to the end zone. Smart play by Edwards on that. Tried to look down the field, the silver was open, but the pressure came from this side, so he couldn't get set to throw. So he scrambled to his left, saw he wouldn't go any place, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Nice job. Although with 3.7 seconds, he could have ran forward, got to the ground, taking the timeout. But if you're hard, hard to do when you're in the middle of it all. If you're watching this right now, again, they got two guys covering the silver. Who's the top for us? He's one on one. Uh, that's Memmer. Memmer? I'm giving Memmer lots of room. And, and he's open. They shouldn't have done that because he just beat him open. And, and catches catch. the ball and penalty on it. We don't know who it is. So, from here, I don't know if it's offense or defense or pass uh, interference. It pretty like sure they're leaning on each other. Memmer's clapping, so that would <coughs> give us a shot at a field goal. I'm not sure. It used to be a 15 yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. I watched a high school game last night and it says from the point of the foul, it's kind of like the pros. So where the flag is and where the ball kind of went out of bounds are one and the same, maybe a yard difference. So. Did we burn our last time up? We have not. Set up for a field goal then. Yeah, here comes the referee over to talk to coach. I think he's got to decline it to get another play. So you get a play from the line of scrimmage. You get a play from 35 yard line for the field goal. 35, be a 52 yard field goal. I'm not That's sure we not got happening. the for that. that. The number I just came up with. Usually the kicker is seven yards behind the uh, snapper. So if the ball's from going back ten yard further. penalty from the line of scrimmage, which was yes. the forty six. So, I thought. so mm. the ball's gonna be on the thirty nine yard line. Seven yards back from that, snap back to holder would be uh, 39, 36 yard line. 
46 yard line and 10 yards through the end zone to the upright. So seven for the end zone, 10 for the end zone, seven for the hold, 17 yards from the line of scrimmage. So barring another penalty, this will be the last play. And Flag we and we were offsides. Mm -hmm. So that'll back us up five more yards for one last play. I did say barring any penalties. That's correct, you did. I want to see you make a brand out of that. <laughs> Bar what? It's our next pub. Uh huh. There we go, our brewery will be barring any penalties. Block short line. pass. I know what they had in mind. They're trying to run a hook and ladder. <coughs> uh, couldn't, couldn't get, get it out of it. By the way, do you know what the, this is the 150th anniversary of? 150 years ago? Yeah. Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked over the kerosene lantern and burned down <laughs> most of Chicago. <laughs> yeah. The Great gotta Chicago my, Fire. Got, got to get my history in there with Spudnik, so. Yeah. All right, so at halftime, uh, the beta leads 14 to 6. And we'll see the ball to start the second half, so we're looking to hopefully good things. Enjoy the band show, and we will be back after halftime. Drum majors Ben Humplepash, Piper Shrank, and Melissa Garcia. Is your band ready? Band, you may take the field.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Nevada County Pride Marching Band and the 2021 Marching Band Show this week tonight away.
Well, we're getting ready to start the second half. Cubs will receive the ball. You can see uh, if Algona wants to try and kick it deep or not. I see Nevada's trying to hide De Silva, which is a good move. They have number 11 uh, members back. And then in the middle, they got uh, three guys, Caden being one of them, and two guys talking to them. And until the whistle blows and the kicker approaches the ball, there they go. Now they're splitting up. Here's the whistle, and away we go for the second half kickoff. Big number 70 for the Bulldogs kicks off. Fielded at the 24-yard line, right up to the 30, 35. Dives all the way up to the 20 or 37 yard line. That was close. He grabbed the ball, slipped, almost went down, almost stepped out of bounds. Everything's an almost, though, so we're okay. Neither one happened, we're still going. Could have let that one uh, probably go out of bounds, but they gained an extra two yards on the return. So. Trip receivers, Robinson in motion, fake the handoff, Edwards goes up the middle, is met by about four different Bulldogs and stopped for no gain. Take the uh, jet sweep on that, but Algona was not buying on it. He uh, clogged up the middle, came aggressively and stopped the run. I'm gonna go right back to that one and actually do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, catch the Bulldogs off sides. Cubs are definitely very good at doing the hard count and pulling other teams offside. It's only give the Cubs second and five at the 42 yard line. Keeper by Edwards on the left side, finds a small hole, and carries it up to the first down mark. Rhodes engaged the uh, defensive end and drove him back into his outside. Had created a hole to bring the ball up through. Uh, looked Ooh, like down blocking to me, pushed it back the offensive a little. line. And then slid it forward just a little bit more for the first down. I landed on the laces, so I see. <laughs> <laughs> That was interesting. <clears throat> so, first and ten for the Cubs at the 47-yard line. Yeah, time yeah. was our <laughs> turn to go. <laughs> All right, nine times out of ten we do get the other team, but that one time we'll get our own team. So now they know what uh, we're doing. Kind of a little pole guard on that play. Hold number 67 to our left, and had a good opening step. Was in tight behind the line of scrimmage. The only problem was we hadn't snapped the ball yet. Yeah. That happens. I just the, soon have him be quick the off the ball than first slow. First step out of everybody out there. So came the other way with 15, it. First and fifteen. Hand off to Kaysen. And Kaysen gets about three of those penalty yards back. And that'll bring up second down and twelve. One more play. I want to see one more play. I think, I think what I'm seeing, what I believe I'm seeing, is the defensive line for Algona is pinching down. Everybody's coming down towards the center, cross, trying to take away all those running lanes on the inside. Throw, caught by De Silva at the 47-yard line of the Bulldogs. Nope, oh, no, nope. the ref backs him up a little more to the 48. That'll bring up third down and six to go. That helps loosen things up. Sorry, five to go. The ball still rolling could be four next. Yeah. So third and five. Keeper for Edwards off the left side. Oh, loses the ball and Bulldogs come up with it. Stripped them well. Edwards had the ball. 
I commented early, Edwards earlier about how he put the ball away. That one he had the ball outside of his body. The old coaching thing was he was carrying like a loaf of bread. And I'll go and put peanut butter on it all the way to the ground. So that gives the Bulldogs the ball in their own territory at the 47 yard line, first and 10. And, I just took and that, a little momentum. Uh -huh, just took that advantage of the Cubs having their open kickoff away. And yeah, maybe the defense can come out and shut them down again. Twenty-two keeps it, goes right up the middle, and gets a first down. Good blocking by the Algona line on that one. First down. On that play, Algona brought both wingbacks, not in motion, but the snap of the ball back towards the quarterback. So it distracted the linebackers, not sure who was going where, and they gave it to the up back, and he went straight ahead. He's got the size of our uh, running back from last year, Aiden Rhodes, but doesn't quite have the bulk that Aiden had. So that's a sack on the quarterback of the Bulldogs. That was a combined coverage sack and just playing a pressure by our defensive line. They had two guys open to their right down the field, one deep about the 20 yard line and the other about a shallow line, probably about the 35-yard uh, line. That'll bring up second and 12 for the Bulldogs. I'm guessing the coaches in the other box over there saw that too, so expect to come back to it. Got Malone on the crash off the end. <clears throat> and we got a penalty flag here late. I hate to say it, it's probably going to be a face mask. That's kind of the time and spot Place. for that. It'll be 15 yards from the spot. Face mask. Face mask, yep. Cubs. Good call, coach. Bad call, but good call. Five-yarder. All right, years ago we had the inadvertent, and then we had the unsportsmanlike. I thought they did away with the inadvertent. As usual, according to my wife, I was wrong because that was a five-yard inadvertent face mask. Might have been a hands on the face mask versus using it. That'll bring up second and six. Cubs looking to crash, and they do. Push them back all the way back. And forward progress was stopped about two yards short of the line of scrimmage. I'm going to bring up third and eight. All right, kudos to both schools. I've seen people, players from both schools, get knocked down, turn around, help up their opponent. You didn't see the picture over this year. You had two guys, uh, two op opponents. One had a leg cramp. The other opponent, knowing the pain it caused, ran over, grabbed his leg, and started stretching it for him. That made national news. That's sportsmanship. Stop, looks back, he's got a wide re wide open wide receiver. It's gonna be close. Flag in the flag though. <clears throat> Could be a hold on the Bulldogs, and it is. Thank goodness, because that receiver is wide open for a first down on that play. Takes the so ball all the way back to what, their 48 yard line? 48, yep. So it'll be third and. A whole bunch. Send the ball until tomorrow land. So uh, 21 yards. Offense player lined up over the ball again. And that'll be five more yards, so third and 26. This is an observation, not a criticism, but this, this late in the season, this is what, game number seven? Six, seven? That's a pretty fundamental mistake. <coughs> yeah. I mean, 
you check with the, the line ref. If you're the wide receiver, you check with the outside official. Yep. If you're a lineman, you just line up on the guy next to you. Yeah. And I believe it was the wide receiver once again. So the running play pretty much gets about one yard on that play. That'll bring up fourth down, and I'm sure they're going to punt from this point. And yes, they have this unorthodox punting formation. Uh, I can't imagine they're going to go for... Well, I mean, they can always fake it, sure. Blocked! Blocked by Carson Tackle. Rhodes! And tackled for... All the way back at the 38-yard line. Well done, Carson Rhodes, getting your hands up. That's a big guy, just like his brother, about 6'4". I think he's 6'6", six, six, so when he puts his hand up, six, well, eight, he, can change, he can change light bulbs here at the stadium. Yes. Yes, just what you try and coach, get your hands up if you can. Not get to the ball carrier, or in this case the punter, get your hands up to try and deflect it. Yeah, he is 6'7". Maybe Aiden. Aiden was 6'4", I believe. Big. Just That's 6'7", with or without the hair. <laughs> this without. is true. This is without. true. Without the hair. They have to push down the hair to get to that 6'7". Otherwise, he's 7-4. Hand off to De Silva. The jet sweep. Gets the corner. Gets down to about the 34-yard line. 33-yard line. Pick up of five yards. I hate to say Algona's been looking for that all night. But Algona's been looking for that all night. He ran into the short side of the field, so they were able to seal it off before he got ahead of steam up. But it was still a positive gain. So Five yards? Yeah. Five, six yards on that one. We'll take that. That'll bring up second and five. Would this be a good time to try one deep? Yep, nobody covering De Silva deep. But a handoff to Kaysen. Holds on to the ball as they were trying for it. The goal has been well coached oh, in I'm that sorry, strip. that was Edwards. Trying to strip the ball, trying to pull the ball away. First guy hits him, the second guy starts grabbing. So James gets enough for the first down. Down to the 27, 27-yard line. Yep. Burning up a lot of clock, too. Six minutes to go in the quarter. Oh, dang it. Another mental mistake by the Cubs on the offensive line. First? Doesn't matter, we jumped Receive off. Yeah, no, really, we have not had too many of those these year, this year. No. This has definitely been the worst game for it so far. That's what, two in this quarter? Two in this quarter, one in the first half. Trip receivers, keeper by Edwards. Goes off the, oh, got a penalty late. Not able to see from here what it could be. No. Nope. Could be a hold the way the official grabbed his, jer or his vest. Holding, yep. On the Cubs. So that was at the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be first down and 20. No? Yep, Yeah. Bounce. Yeah, first down and 20. Good thing is they got four downs to get it. It's not second down and 20. Good point. James drops back, throws out. He's got uh, Memer out in the flat. Gets him all the way down to the 23-yard line. So they got uh, 13 yards on that play. Good out pattern. Nice turn and run by Colin. Out pattern. Receiver goes down three or four steps, plants his foot, cuts 90 degrees to the outside. Hand off to Kaysen, up the middle. And yes, they are. They are reaching at that ball any chance they get. Kaysen takes it all the way down to the 20 yard line. And that'll bring up a third and long two or three. 
Okay, the ball is on right now about the 22-yard line. It's on the 20. Maybe a 39-yard field goal from there. Hand off to Kaysen again. Oh! Pops through somehow. I did not see where he popped through on that one. But he managed to pop through some hole somewhere somehow. Cut behind uh, Malone's block. Again, the right side blocked down. Sealed off both line and linebackers. He read it well, cut right off of it. Nice run by Kaysen. Yes, it was. Very impressive for a sophomore this year. Heck, it's pretty impressive for a junior. I'm not sure about a senior yet, though. Hand off to Kaysen again, block, left side, he's got, a, he's got the corner, he's got the corner, and touchdown, Kaysen Stevenson. Yeah, touchdown, touchdown Cubs. Makes it 20 to six. It's a nice response having fumbled the opening kickoff, coming back, getting it back, and driving it on down. That'll bring out Aiden Freeman for the extra point. Snap, place, and kick is good. 21-6. 4-11 to go in the third quarter. Cubs will kick off to the Bulldogs. I don't remember I had this on Metro. Met I don't remember I had it on that provider we've been talking about tonight. Metro. Metro Net? Net. Well, if you were to tune into the YouTube and streaming it through the super fast service of Metronet, yeah, you could be watching this and high duck. <laughs> My wife and I head over to Amana. We'll go in the night after this game, but away games we go over and we uh, put on a college football game on the big screen and we bring this up with a couple of games on the, the computer screen, turn down the sound on college and cheer for the Cubs. There you go. 43-21 Yeah, what's with your Hawkeyes playing on a Friday night? Don't they, they don't have any love to. for the high school? They do not want to. Kirk Ferentz has made that very clear. Friday what's night is for, for, car, for high school football. That's right. Freeman kicking off, balling in a beta touchdown. Field at the 10-yard line, brought out to the 20. Ooh. Met severely at the 24-yard line. That was a slobber knocker. That was a slobber knocker tackle there. Actually, I was going to say something else, but I got told last week not to use that term. So, 25-yard line brought out, too. Yes, Hayden Fryer will fight that in Iowa City as long as he can. Big Ten thought that idea up. And Ferentz, what did I say, Hayden? Ferentz made the comment, Friday night in Iowa. Is I knew who you school. meant. I know. In fact, right now I understand that uh, Ferentz and his right-hand man's down watching Southeast Polk play, hoping to recruit a couple guys there. There you go. All right, quick pass, another one of those sidearm passes by the quarterback for a positive gain for the Bulldogs. Right. Got all the way out to the 31-yard line. That'll bring up second and five. Second and four. 3.45 left in the third. That's a pretty dangerous pass, throwing sidearm over an offensive line like that. Could come back to haunt them a little bit. First down. Trayvon Smith, the ball carrier. That was that inside counter play. Misdirection to the right. Bring the hat back, back inside on the inside handoff. And uh, well executed by Algona. Watching the pulling lineman come down the line that kick out and turn up. Thing of beauty. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Hand it off the Ooh, middle. Big, big open hole. hole. Lots of room to run. Caden didn't force him back inside, and he gets all the way down to the 27-yard line. 
Brown. Jason, I think that hole is big enough you and I could have got through. I could have got through there with a little bit of help from my friends. I may even get, be able to get bus 15 through there. I'm not sure about that. but. So when you're on the wing, the most important thing you need to do is make sure that runner doesn't get outside. And unfortunately, that was able to happen there. Your help is always to your inside. High snap. Was able to get that off. Good tackle. Very nice tackle by... Excellent uh, open field tackle. Tackle by Caleb Quaker. Caleb Quaker. Showed excellent speed getting to that runner on that one. You've shown a lot of misdirections in the second half. Knowing that uh, Nevada pursues well, is an aggressive team, good choice by them. Got another handoff up the middle. Cooper is the ball carrier. Third and five. Back to Mike Carter Bevin. Third and four. We'll bring up third and four. Cubs definitely want to hold them here without letting them score after they weren't down and scored on them. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Let's, let's hold them out. I don't know if they have a field goal kicker or not. Got an open receiver here. Nope. Okay. Covered up now. Hand off up the middle. 22. And it's going to be right at the markers. Just short. <coughs> Be fourth down and one. Watch the count. <clears throat> yep. Looks like they're bringing some bigs in. Jumbo package. Jumbo is for sure on that one. Let's see what they do here. I'm going to guess right up the middle. Now it'll be fourth and six. He does not want to see that on film tomorrow. But you bring those guys in that aren't normally running a play, and they're, they're anxious. They're a little nervous. Yeah, they're they're eager. They want to show they belong out there. So now those jumbos get off the field, being fourth and six. That's a gambling man. I'd say they're probably going to throw those curl patterns again, get past the stick, and turn it around. Big play for the D here. And we got a timeout, Cubs. Yep. Cubs. They wanted to see what play they were getting ready to run, I think. Call a timeout and let's Call stop them. It's a pretty important player, I think, right here. Could be pretty pivotal in this game. With 41.8 seconds left in the quarter, you're absolutely right. Yeah, if the Cubs can shut him down, turn it around, and march it down the field one more time. If El Goner's a score, go for two and get it, it'd be 21-14, so it's a one-possession ball game. cheer squad tonight. We have Mariah Bell, Sheanne Flores, so fourth and six here for the Bulldogs. Big stop here for the Cubs coming up hopefully. Empty backfield except for the quarterback. One wing back. Down Five the field receivers out. There's that, there's that curl deep Tried to throw a corner fade pattern, and receiver got turned around. Although Seth had really good position, he never got his head around, but that was a little nerve-wracking for me up here. Yes. <laughs> but he did have his hands up in the air, so he couldn't have been interfering with the receiver. Well, he had him out to the side. Up in the air could have been face masking, automatic first down, 15 yards, so good play. We have Mariah Bell, Sheehan Flores, Ben Humble-Pash, 
Caitlin Kucherov, Lily Miller. So Cubs take over on downs here, first and 10 at the 23, 22-yard line, 23-yard line. Didn't break the line. Hand off to Kaysen, has got a hole, big hole, 10 yards, 15. We got a flag on the play. Flag coming back. Probably coming back for holding. Kaysen Stevenson, the ball carrier. Left side of her line, somebody grabbed the jersey. Couldn't see the number, but I could see the jersey come out. Officially hold call on the Cubs. That was back a pretty play, though, the, wasn't it? I'm going to bring back him up to the 19-yard line. Penalty occurred at the 29. Oh, 28. So they're at the 18-yard line now. It'll be first and 15. Snap by Edwards. Keeper. No, they shut that one down in a hurry. They didn't. Fake didn't fool them at all. That's a shame, too, because I think Kaysen had a wide open he right did. side there. They weren't biting on it. So it looks like we're going to go to the fourth quarter here where the Cubs lead the Algona Bulldogs 21 to 6. And I believe, if I remember right, I think. Along with the anniversary of the cow kicking over the lantern. Mrs. It's, O'Leary's cow. And Bob it's, Mittman. It's the birth date of Mr. Bob Mittman. He went down to the barn to tell Miss O'Leary not to put her cow that close, but she didn't listen to him. Bob Mittman happens to be Bob's birthday today. He's not quite old enough for Medicare, but he's getting close. Happy birthday, Bob. Come on. Well, 12 minutes to go. Let's hope the Cubs can keep the pressure on and keep moving it down the field. It's been a very quiet confidence about this team all year. They don't get rattled. They don't get excited. They just come out and do their job. Yeah, and they do whatever it is that they need to do for that game. Uh, tonight hasn't been much of a passing game. It's been a pretty pretty well strictly running. Yes, we've thrown the ball, but a little bit. it's been about the run tonight for sure. Jason, you and the Army, ground pounders, is that what they called you guys? Yep then you could almost call this an Army game tonight because both sides have been pounding it on the ground pretty heavily. Edwards throws, got the silver wide open. It's on midfield, and we got a penalty flag. We'll see what this penalty is. I'm not sure, unless we had too many men on the line of scrimmage and not enough to backfield. What'd they indicate, guys? Legal man downfield, I think. Hand on top to head? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it would be right then. Yeah, with uh, Edwards kind of faking the run. And scrambling. And scrambling a bit. I think some of the linemen got yep. a little too eager. Three yards either side of the line of scratch. Cubs for illegal receiver downfield. Linemen can be three yards past line of scrimmage. Even if they're in contact, they're supposed to stop. But when you... Train your lineman to drive and keep driving until you hear the whistle. Well, sometimes it doesn't work that way. So so that nullifies about a 30-yard gain on that play. And 10-yard penalty, 40-yard loss. Edwards keeps right side. Edwards He's got a little there. bit of room, but gets her back to the 18, 19-yard line. That'll bring up third down and 15 to go, 14 to go. Matt <coughs> Hoover. Chunk by chunk. Chunk by chunk. <laughs> Come on, Cubbies. 11 minutes to go. Keep the drive going. Stay focused. 
Takes a snap, drives back. Screen. He's got screen a screen with Kaysen. Got some blockers. Got a weaving through. Pass it's going to be just shy of the first down by two, two yards. yards. It's a great attempt. It was executed. Just uh, they had enough Bulldogs back to uh, put that play into uh, on the ground. Leslie kind of, I hate to say, gave it away, but he didn't get on the three point stance. And when the ball was snapped, he only took one step and then broke outside to, to be a lead blocker. So it tipped off the defensive backs what was coming. But next time. Case and Rhodes in the punt. Takes a good snap. Good foot into it. Get a bounce. Get a bounce. Bounces at the Get a bounce. 47 and 40, rolls back to the 36. 36-yard 36 line. Well nice done, Kaysen. Nice punt. So the Bulldogs take over at the 36-yard line, first and 10. Down by 15 points. 10 minutes left in the game. Coach, I just found out we have somebody in Canada to listen to us. Hey, hey there. Hey there. Hey, he's sitting on the back deck with... Throws out to the flat. Ah. Got a receiver. There you go. Yeah. About an eight-yard gain on that pass play. Well, shout out to Scott Ryerson up there. Catch me a fish, bring it back. I was kind of curious. The uh, quarterback was kind of moving back before that ball. He can go back away from the lines, logs, and they're going to the line. By the way, my information about uh, the pistol came from Scott Ryerson, who played at University of. Nevada, Reno. Keeper by the quarterback. It's nice first down. By him, first down. Tyler Mansky, the ball carrier. And probably one extra yard on top of that. Yeah. Kale Franz and into the tackle along with Seth Brown. Ticking down to about nine minutes left in the game. Cam Bissett ought to be getting paid by the mile tonight. He's been hustling on and hustling off the field. Doing a good job trying to plug. Under. Carlos Gomez, the ball carrier. Brings it out into the Cub territory, just shy of the 50. Just over the 50. Mather came down the line on that. The uh, offense line was trying to block him. He got his hands on him, R rode the lineman sideways. Dumped him and then got to the ball carrier. Good hustle, good job. Down to the 49-yard line. So it'll be second and six. Ooh. Oh. Incomplete pass. Tried to sidearm another pass there. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure that <laughs> receiver is quite ready for that one to come in as hot as it did. So that'll bring up third and six or seven. At six. Drops back, looking to pass. Pressure, 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 hands up. Oh, a little bit out of the reach of the receiver. Falls to the ground. Threw it behind him. He was trying to get turned around like and catch it. Gavin with some cramps. And there you see it right there. Algona kid grabbed his foot, knew his cramps, already starting to stretch. Here comes Matt Myers on the field. That's good stuff there. You love seeing that kind of Folks, thing. Folks, this is why we play the game. It's called sportsmanship. Appreciate that very much. Check. Testing. Malone is a very strong individual and consequently tends to cramp once in a while, especially he goes 100% on every play.
So with that stop, that'll bring a fourth down. And with their odd punting formation that they use, it looks like they're in it. They're spread out a little wider than they have been. Yep. Looks like they're going for it. Yeah, and completed pass for the first down all the way to the 39-yard line. Yeah, if you're going to try something like that, that's the first spot to do it, right about yep. there. Eight minutes to go in the game. they got to do something to get back in in a hurry. Yep. Wasn't watching either. Was uh, De Silva back on that one? or was I didn't notice. I didn't notice either. Like I say, I saw they were spread out more than usual, and there's a running back next to the quarterback, which they haven't done in the past. Takes the snap. Deep pattern, deep pattern, left side. He's got a fly. Out of bounds, and out of bounds. Kid caught a nice pass, but he was out of bounds when he caught it. Well done by Seth Brown, too, to make sure that he was out of bounds after catching the ball. This is not meant to insult Seth, but everybody he goes up against is taller, so the opposing coaches think, oh, he can just throw it over the top of him. But for the, since about the first game on, he has been dynamite out there. He doesn't let height interfere. He plays aggressively. He goes with him. He is in great position on that play. I think it was the very first play they went at him. Tonight? No, in the first game of the season. First, they, the first game of the season. He gave he up a, a good pass, yep. and after that, he's been just spectacular. Crowding pattern, crossing pattern. Well, that well hurt. done. The uh, quarterback had a lot of pressure again that time. He ran a crossing pattern with number eight. He came down about five and broke to the middle. Saw his quarterback scrambling, tried to go back to it slightly behind him and Seth unloaded on him so he'll feel that one tomorrow Gavin's out there still trying to work those cramps out you can see him out there limping a bit until the ball snapped until the ball snaps then he's 100% he's got a motor yes he does so third down and 10 Looks like we got a movement. That was not me, folks. Oh, delay a game. Five-yard penalty, third and 15 now for the Bulldogs. We took the, the yellow flag away from the two coaches to my right here. They were trying to throw it from the press box. <laughs> that backs them all the way up to the 44-yard line. They need to get down to the 29. Drops back, looking to pass again, that crossing pattern. Oh. Nothing going there. Pass was high, we just couldn't get to it to intercept it. I'm going to bring up fourth and 15. Well, if they went for it the last time, I wouldn't be surprised they'd try something again. And I would imagine we are not going to put anybody back for this, other than to defend any pass. They down it at the one, they down it at the one. Flood is on this way. Yep. They are back to pass, getting some pressure. And oh, yep. right yep. through the nope. hands. No, nope. good call. Flat pass interference on Nevada. The uh, Nevada kid was going for the ball and didn't see the receiver, and he tripped him up. The receiver went down. So, we didn't like the call, but it was an accurate call. Line of scrimmage, it would barely be a first down, I believe. Uh, ten yard penalty, no. Ten or fifteen? Ten. Okay. So it'll be fourth and five. He's just said first. It's an automatic? Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, if it's 15 yard, then it's yeah, be right at the mark. All right, Cubs, 7:37 to go. Let's put the pressure on him again. Algona has not given up an iota. They just keep fighting the whole way. 
fans and coaches and parents, you should be proud of this team. Nice catch again. Again, different receiver. Different receiver, same result with the hands. Got him out in front of him, ball hit the triangle, he squeezed it tight and brought it in for a first down. Let's go, guys. So that moves the ball all the way down to the 17 yard line, first and 10. And we got a legal motion. First and 15 for the Bulldogs. Backed up to the 21 yard line now. At times it feels like Algon is, you know, trying to challenge themselves. We'll back up and then we'll throw a longer pass for on first down or something. Back to pass, getting some pressure, oh, got him, got him, got him, and got him, sacked. Up. All right. All the way back at the 26-yard line. They have to get down to the seven-yard line? Yes. Showing blitz, bringing extras. Uh, and hands on him twice, couldn't do it. Nice job. Caleb Quaker was able to get in front of him on that one. Quaker and the Algona player came across the about the middle of the end zone. Quaker trailed, and when the ball got in the air, Quaker stepped in front of him. Clean play, good play. Distracted both the ball and the player. Nice job. So third and 20 for the Bulldogs. You gotta imagine they're gonna go for it on fourth down if they don't get it here. Got a screenplay, well defensed. Perfect tackle by Kale Franzen. They've had tackles this year. They, I hope they go back and take clips out. So next year when they get ready to start teaching tackling over, here's what it looks like when you do it right. Excellent open field tackle. So it'll be fourth and 20 now. Dittmer intercepts that pass at the 20 yard line. Dittmer saw that coming the whole way. <laughs> well coached, he read the uh, scouting report, guy released in front of him into the uh, sideline pattern. He dropped back with him. The guy threw it high. The quarterback threw it high. Tried to get over him. It's hard to do. Went up and pulled it down. Nice, nice job. So 5:51 left in the fourth quarter here, and the Cubs take over, leading 21 to six. Long drive and get some points out. It that'd be outstanding. <laughs> Burn up the clock. They're bringing the house too. Hand off to Casey. Pushes up. All the way to the 30 for a first down. Just absolute determination to get to that first down marker by Kaysen. Got the ball protected. They brought seven people on that play. And Kaysen found the one slot to, to break through, and he did. And just powered it on down. So the Cubs have the first down at the 31 yard line of the bull, or their own 31 yard line. Edwards takes a snap, throws it out on the flat to Caden De Silva. He's got a corner, 40. All the way up Flag to the Guessing it'll be a little block on the beta where the flag is thrown because yep. he had a lead blocker out there on a split in screen. Push in the back, Nevada. 
back it up from the penalty it. mark. Looks like a block in the back. Oh. I don't know. He put his hands up behind his head. I don't know what the call is. Here comes the referee. Yep, there it is. Black in the back. Dang. Another fine looking play. But somebody might say it wouldn't be so good looking if you know, he hadn't blocked him in the back. That's right. 5'11 left. Casey off the somebody. left Get side. Oh, Got nice a block. corner. Keep coming, keep coming. 35. Horse collar. And thrown out of bounds at the 37 <laughs> yard line. 38 yard line. 67. Holden Fry got out in front on that, sealed the, the corner on it, kept coming, got a piece of the man downfield. Nice job by the old lineman leading the way. And we got second down and three to go. Edwards takes a snap, the keeper off the right side, skips it over, and gets enough for the first down. Clock will stop long enough to set the chain. First down for the Cubs. And 10. Here we go, Cubs. Keep the drive going. 440 left in the game. Roji shifts off to the right side. Comes back for an inside block. Oh, big oh, hole. Yeah. Big hole. Out Staying by. Stay in bounds. All the way down to the 25 yard line of the Bulldogs. Colin Members got downfield with the lead block on that, sealed it off, kept his feet going, and just kept rolling that guy backwards till another DB come over to help force him out of bounds. Nice job. The two pulling linemen just dominated on that. Well done. Hand off to Kaysen, off the right side. Stevenson, the ball carrier. Stuffed after a minimal game. Looks like you got about a yard. Timeout by Algona. Timeout, Bulldogs. So 4 11 left, 21 6. Cubs threatening again. More importantly, they're burning up the clock. Absolutely burning up. 7 would be great, 28 6. Even three points, 24 six. That's a still a uh, three three possession game. Yes. Yes. Any score? Well, field goal would only make it 24 to six. That's 18. Yeah, that's a well. That's still a three possession. That's still Not bad. Three. Yeah. So minimum, we need a field goal right here. But being greedy like we are, touch not even be better. <laughs> yes, yeah. well, second down on nine for the Cubs. Bulldogs know what we're going to do. Cubs know what we're going to do. Just do and we're just going to do it. Edwards keeper at the left side, big hole. He's got the corner and touchdown. touchdown. James Edwards, number three of the night. Excellent blocking, low line. Excellent blocking. That came with 4.05 left in the game. Freeman out for the extra point. Snap is high, placement down, and the kick is good. Good good job by the holder. He went up after a high snap, got it down so the kick could be carried through. Good concentration. So 28-6, four minutes left in the game. 
barring some crazy scoring plays by the Bulldogs. It looks like the Cubs are going to go 7-0. and Bulldogs are going to go 5-2. and We have who, Humboldt next week? Humboldt. Right now that could be for the district title because I believe Humboldt's undefeated. Undefeated, 6-0. And, and we're going in undefeated, so winner of that game more than likely will win the district. It'll be one more district game after that, so it's not a certain, but it sure gives you a leg up. Here we go, guys. And the approach by Freeman. And the kick. Nice kick. Fielded at the seven yard line, brought out to the 15. Tries to make a move, but is met at the 20. Good coverage by the Cubs. Guessing Algona is going to try and speed their uh, huddle up, get out, get to the ball, so they don't burn up any more clock than necessary. Drop back, looking to pass, gets it out there, nice keeps pass, them in nice bounds. Catch. Still in bounds, picked up about eight yards though. So it looks like we're going to be a match of two seven zero teams next week as Humboldt is on top of Gilbert, twenty seven to three in the fourth quarter. About six six and a half to go in that game. Drops back. He's going to keep it. Lots of space to run. Makes it to midfield nice and tackle. crosses over and gets tackled down at the 48 yard line of the Cubs. Couldn't Sorry. see the number. The beta player came flying in, got pancake, got up, took off. May have been an untackle. Good second effort by whoever it was. Which, if you're watching on TV or on online, you saw what I saw. Drops back, looking to pass again. Crossing patter deep. Goes up. Nice catch. We were there. It's good coverage. Quarterback threw it high, and Weber went up high and got it. So, as soon as the change are set, the clocks will start 255 at this point. There it goes. If they should score, you can almost anticipate it. Oh. Center forgot to snap the ball on that one. Looks like Nevada may have called timeout, though. Oh, yep. Sides. Yep, they did call timeout. Can we have that one back? Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Can they call that a do over? So 2.46 left, 28-6, Cubs over to Bulldogs. Bulldogs are threatening, they're down to the 26, 27 yard line. First and 10. First and 10, yep. Moved the ball quite a ways in just like two plays here, so. Probably a good timeout call by Coach Kleeman just to give the guys a quick rest. Make sure everybody's on the right page. My guys, right, guys, here we go. Gonna run some nice crossing patterns right in the middle. Here comes one deep. Oh, touchdown. Yep. That was a skinny post pattern, and he hit it right in stride. Even though we made the tackle, he drug him into the end zone. And that makes the score 28-12, Nevada. 
guessing that Algona will go for two. They go for two, they'll cut the score in half. Trying on site, I'm sure. As I said earlier, Algona has given has given up nothing tonight. You continue to hustle and Oh, flag on the play. Pass interference. Looks like uh, Caden might have been a little fast on that one. Caden went up to block the ball, but it was over his back, and that's where they're going to get him on that. Definitely a ball zone no no at this point. So that means they're going to bring their jumbo in, moving the ball up another yard, yard at the one yard. Watch the count. D line get off low well and hard. Bottle up the middle. Right up the middle he came. I'm not sure he made it. Right now I don't see any sign. One official started to, keeps pulling his hands back down. The other official shaking his head no. Nah, now they're giving it to him. Mm -hmm. Far official came in, started to raise his hand, pulled him back down, started to raise him again, pulled him back down. The official on this side shook his head and all, but the other official overruled him in two-point conversion. 28-14 with 2.40 to play in the game. I'm pretty sure Nevada will put their hands team on the field. <coughs> hands team, anybody's used to handling the football. Uh, running backs, wide receivers, anybody like that you're used to having the ball in their hands. That way, it's not uncommon. You put the linemen out there and they kind of get fumbly fingers and not sure. Unless you're the center, of course. Center knows what he's doing. Center always knows what he's doing. Center's the only player in the game that handles the ball on every snap. Really, Kyle? <coughs> Besides the Elks. They don't count. Clock stopped. <laughs> Side jumps don't get to take the ball home. <laughs> this is one of those things that coaches work on at least once a week, if not more. And uh, here's where it's going to come to pay off. The bid has one, two, three, four, five, six guys right behind the 50. They have three guys behind that, and Caden is a little deep. So you try and fill every gap so the ball bounces through. And Nevada okay. covers it up at the 42-yard line. The Nevada ball, 2.40 left in the game. Wasn't a bad kick. The kicker was trying to get a bounce out of it, but uh, one of the upfront guys for Nevada got a hand on it, kept it on the ground, and Nevada recovered it right there. 2.40. How many timeouts does Algona have? Two. Two, okay. So we need to get a first down. Hey, did you see that? That was the after Metronet up there on the screen. Hey, Metronet, super fast internet. Hand off to Kaysen. Tuck the ball, tuck the ball, nice drive. Nice, nice first down pickup of uh, seven yards. So three more to go for the first down. Both hands and the ball just kept his legs driving. No timeouts at this point. Clock's running. Second and a long four, short four. Take your time. I'm guessing they'll watch the uh, game or the uh, play clocks down to 10. They'll run it down as low well as they can, and they do. And Edwards with the ball. Just short of the Just first, short down. first down. And, and a timeout. Now going to call the timeout. 154 remaining. Oh. Oh. You're going to measure close. that? Close. That is very close. I'll go and burn another timeout. That was your last, wasn't it? Nope. That's their one more. Oh. It's their second. Is that like real That's fortune? very close to a first down. They, they bought a vowel. In this case, they bought a timeout. I thought they used them all. So 
looks like they're going to get the chains and measure this one. Hmm. If you're on offense, they're measuring that could be the longest link. If you're on defense, it could be the shortest link. I think they're short. They are short, about a length and a half of the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure by much. Well, a 157 a third down. The only drawback to running the shotgun is you have to make up to three or four yards of quarterbacks behind the center before you can get to the line of scrimmage and try and get it. I need to talk to Mr. Cruz about painting these lines a little more crooked for that. Yeah, on our side. Yeah. Uh-huh. Put a little bow in that line for us next time. Tell you what, though, over the last several years, our custodial staff's done an outstanding job getting the field ready. It's like snap keeper by Edwards. He's got the first down and more. All, right. All the way down to the 43-yard line of the Bulldogs. And that should do it for this game. They've got one left. more timeout left. 145 on the clock. They really needed to stop them on that third down, and they weren't able to do it. All right. Run the play clock down, 17, 15. They got their player ready. They're just waiting. Yep. Right now they got a deep back in case something goes wrong. His job is to cover. It's kind of like a safety on offense. Anything happens, it's his responsibility. Except his Casey responsibility Stevens. was he just got the ball and took it for about four yards, five yards. It's about a four-yard pickup for Casey Stevenson. He's had an outstanding game so far tonight. Under a minute. Looks like we're getting some victory formation going here. Algona is going to forego taking that last time out. Game's out of reach. Hey, Grace. Keep your heads about you. And that will do it for this game tonight. That is the game. 30 seconds left, but both teams congratulating each other in the field. It's been a well-played game, hard-hitting game. I say slobber knocker again, but I get laughed at up here. So, anyway, good job tonight, Cubs. Now we're waiting to see what's going to happen. Get ready to go. If if next week you're if you're able to, Cubs could really use your support and help up at Humboldt. Two undefeated teams going head to head next week, and there's the horn ending the game. Jason, good working with you. We'll see you in two weeks back here for the North Pole game. Okay, after we get a little celebration here and a chant in front of the fans, we're going to do a quick quick interview with Casey Stevenson, the player of the game tonight.
great tradition for the Cubs here to do the nice chant in front of the crowd. When they get done with this here, we're going to have a quick interview with Casey Stevenson. So we're going to talk to Kaysen Stevenson, the player of the game here. Hey, Kaysen, can you hear me, buddy? Awesome. Do me a big favor and talk as loud as you can because we got to drown out all the noise around you. Awesome, man. Hey, great game tonight. Uh, hard, hard running. Love to see that. You found some holes that I didn't even see you squirt through and were able to get in the end zone tonight. Good job on that. Hey, uh, what, what did you think... Uh, worked out the best for you guys tonight? I mean, just trusting our teammates, trusting the plan, you know. It was a tough uh, number nine team at 3A, but, you know, we just, like, stick to our plan and trust everyone and just got it done. Awesome, man. Hey, uh, unfortunately, Humboldt uh, got another victory tonight, so it's going to be the clash of two 7 teams next week, and best of luck in that. Thank you. Thank All right, buddy. Take care. So thanks to Casey Stevenson tonight. Thanks to the Cubs. James Edward, three touchdowns on the ground. Um, and next week we will meet up with Humboldt in Humboldt and see who comes away undefeated. Uh, thanks for watching tonight, and we will see you for our uh, season finale here, regular season finale here against North Polk. Good night, all.